This is how I shared the library calendar with uh, Seabury Hall faculty and staff. Here's the library calendar in my calendars and I want to display only this calendar. And what I did was, um, it's a little confusing, you don't go to calendar settings, you don't go to share this calendar, you go to send to a co-worker. And so I had already made a Seabury Hall faculty and staff group and so I'm going to type that in. Actually it's a Seabury Yes, Seabury faculty and staff. And all of you should be in here. And hopefully there aren't any that left. I think this is the most current uh, group. And I sent a message with this. I'm not going to do that right now. Now the way the way I created the group to send in this box was I had gone to my Gmail and created a group there. So you can access it there. I already have a tab open. So I'm going to show you um, under mail on the upper left, go to contacts and under contacts um, I have many contacts. I need to clean them up but I do have a Seabury Hall faculty one that I had created. It does take a little while to do this and you need to update it of course and there are 67 I believe in the group and I could have added more if I wanted to or deleted that sort of thing so that is where you get um, the group information to uh, send to a co-worker that is what you do and let's go through that again so you do not choose calendar settings nor share this calendar it's sent to a co-worker and you would use the group that you had already created. Faculty and staff, 70 of those. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.